Hey everybody, it's Apostle Pastor, and I'm here to give you your five-minute empowerment session. In the book of Mark chapter 1, uh, verse 9, the Bible talks about how Jesus was baptized by John. And after he come up out of the water, the Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven and said, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The Bible said that same Spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil for 40 days. I want to encourage you in this hour, number one, to embrace your identity regardless of the wilderness that is attached to it. Every authentic identity has a wilderness attached to it because the Lord wants to make you. He wants you to find who you are. He wants you to find out about who you are in him in the wilderness. A lot of individuals would love for things to uh, be manifested when everything is great, when everything is going awesome. However, God wants you to understand that it's in that wilderness. It's when you're under pressure. It's when your faith is being tried that you really find out who you are. Here Jesus has this declaration from heaven that sent him into warfare. Prophecy often sends you through warfare. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter number 1, uh, verse 18, the Bible says, For Timothy to fight a good warfare, to keep the faith and fight a good warfare concerning the prophecies that were spoken over him. Every prophecy has a warfare attached. And in order to see manifestation with your identity and the prophetic declaration that is spoken over you, there must be an accomplished wilderness. I know you're saying, wait a minute, you mean I got to go through just because God has declared something over me? This is not what I've asked for, but guess what? When you come out, you're coming out with power. When you look at the book of Luke chapter 4, the Bible says when Jesus came out of that wilderness, the Spirit wasn't on him anymore. It wasn't upon him anymore, but he came out in the power of the Spirit. And he returned back to where he, came, where he came up and where he brought up. Number two, God has given you an anointing for those who may think that they're familiar to, with you. For those who may think they are familiar with you, God is going to use you to show that change has come into your life. And so he goes back where he's brought up and they've remembered him as the carpenter's son. He opens the book, he goes to the synagogue as it was his custom, and he begins to declare that the manifestation of a prophecy from Isaiah chapter 61 has now been accomplished since he's now come out of the wilderness. It's not until you have accomplished your wilderness experience that you can declare that you are and have manifested who you're called to be in God. Lastly, I want to tell you this. When you look at Luke chapter 4, uh, later in that passage of scripture, I believe verse 26, it talks about how Jesus is claimed to be the manifestation of that prophecy. It stirred up so many haters because they thought they knew who he was. They, they were familiar with him. Point number three, my last point. When people are stirred to hatred because of your manifestation, don't sweat it. God is not going to allow anything to happen to you negative that will cause you not to uh, be able to finish what God has called you to do. They wanted to throw Jesus over a cliff, but the Bible says he walked through them unharmed. Listen, saints, I don't care what's coming at you in this hour. The more you press into who you are in God, the more he will protect you. The more you press into who you are in God, into the declaration that he has declared over your life, heaven has spoke, and heaven will be pleased and satisfied to see you press through your wilderness experience and your warfare and reach that point of having the power not just on you, but the power living on the inside of you. This is Apostle Hester, and I want you to know that I love you, and God has a plan for your life, and that plan is progressive. Continue to live and press until the expected end that God has concerning you. The Lord bless you, and remember, I love you, and you can't do nothing about it. Peace out.